want to bring in our chief White House correspondent, John Carl. And John, you're across town with the White House delegation. We just heard from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and he made it very clear that they've been hammering out the details of how this is going to go with the North Koreans right up until the last minute. He called this a mission of peace, George, and said he's optimistic, said that they're making progress more quickly than he anticipated. But it's quite clear that the best case scenario uh, from the White House view here is that there will be a general commitment on denuclearization with the details to be worked out later. So, George, the clearest measure of whether or not this has been successful is if there is another meeting, another meeting between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump uh, put in place after this summit is over. Also taking pains to show how much President Trump has prepared for this meeting. Uh, no doubt. Uh, talked about uh, how the president's been preparing for this. Also talked about the extensive amount of experts that have been part of this process. Uh, it said uh, dozens of PhDs, experts in nuclearization, uh, who could look at the technical details of an agreement, when an agreement, if an agreement is reached, uh, the verification process. So this is not just Donald Trump winging it, although, George, this first meeting will be a one-on-one -on -one meeting, just Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un, and their translators. Yeah, they're not going to bring in the full delegation until after that. And we're really seeing some extraordinary diplomacy right now, John. Even as the president is reaching out to one of America's sworn enemies for almost 70 years, it's coming off this G7 summit where he's had such harsh criticism for our closest allies, that tweet storm about the Canadian prime minister, uh, Justin Trudeau, backed up by the president's staff as well. Uh, it's something I, I haven't heard a, a president, a White House talk about a leader uh, the way that th this White House has talked about Justin Trudeau since we were George Bush talking about Saddam Hussein. I mean, you had one of the president's top advisors actually suggest there is a special place in hell for the Canadian prime minister. They're trying to portray this as an effort by the president to show toughness coming into this meeting, that he won't be pushed around. But, George, I don't know if anybody could have anticipated we'd be in a situation where the White House, where the president is talking more harshly about the Canadian prime minister than about the dictator of North Korea. No, it's really something, although Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said he's unconcerned, said the allies still united on North Korea. Okay, John, thanks very much. We'll come back to you later. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.